What is going on everybody in Mask Wild? Welcome back to a brand new video here. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Moto E for Straight Talk Wireless here. Now I'm going to go ahead and call this device the Moto E for 2020. But as you can see, it is on Straight Talk as I said, so stay tuned. Well, here we are unboxing getting ready to go down here with the Moto E and uh, let's go over some of the specs here that they have in the front of the box now I got this phone I can tell you right now I got it at 59 bucks I think the regular price is a hundred dollars I think it just recently went on sale so I decided to go ahead and grab it because that price was uh, too good there as you can see we get a 6.2 inch HD plus display they call it a max vision here it says that you have up to two days of battery life uh, internal memory is 32 gigabytes you get the option for an SD card uh, you got dual cameras on the rear here, 13 megapixel plus a 2. And then on the front, you get a 5 megapixel camera. And you also get a fingerprint reader. So if we open up this flap here, it says here it has a water repellent design. I'm not sure how true that is there. You got Android 10, uh, Wi-Fi calling capable here. For the processor, we get the Snapdragon 632, I believe. It is a uh, calling climb, of course. Bluetooth 4.2. Uh, it doesn't have 5.0, unfortunately, there um yeah other than that i'm pretty excited to get this thing open so let me go ahead and get this open let's take right here all right so here's the goodies of the box here we don't need that one anymore um there's the phone itself this flap open all right, so of course, within this here, you get your quick start guide, um, letting you know, what is this here? Place this label on Wi-Fi calling devices. No. Straight talk booklet there. You get a charging brick, which I'm pretty sure isn't quick charge. And, oh no, I am so disappointed in Motorola. You guys see that? You see that? Oh no. Look at this here. Micro USB for charging. Are you kidding me? And you get some additional books here from Motorola, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave that inside the box. I don't want anything to do with that there. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm a little disappointed. I don't I didn't see that there in the spec sheet that it has micro USB. So man, that sucks, man. Cause I personally didn't want another USB device. But there's the phone itself. And uh, be honest with you guys, first glance, the thing is looking good. It is definitely looking good. Uh, but yeah, looking at this phone here, y'all, it looks really good. I'm actually kind of impressed with how it looks in person here. Um, I'm more impressed I got it for 60 bucks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you got your rigid power button there, which is beautiful, up and down keys. Looks to me like I got a pill disc, of course. I've got that bottom chin, if you can see it there, it's bottom chin. And uh, you get your front facing camera, so it'll cut out there. Not even a cutout, it's more so like a notch. Let me go ahead and power this thing on. Um, doesn't say specifically what size battery is in here, but I'm going to assume uh, 4,000. But I can find that information out later on, of course. This is just an unboxing video. I don't always know all the specs for every single phone that I, uh, that I purchased. Um, this is just one of those ones where it was a good deal, and I decided to go ahead and grab it. We got the uh, device powered on. So let me go ahead and get my information in this phone here and I'll see you guys in a few seconds. I'm gonna pause the video. So Mask Wild, we are back updating you guys here at the uh, device setup here. Didn't get the device all the way set up, but overall, I gotta say that I'm kind of digging this phone already here. The first impressions, screen on this phone here is really beautiful. I mean, obviously over video, you're not gonna be able to see what I'm looking at in full detail here. Uh, it's not going to look as crisp as it is in person. But this is a really, really nice screen here. I really like the quality of it. It looks really nice. This wallpaper really stands out. I had to turn the brightness down here because it does get pretty bright. But I was also kind of surprised with how deep the blacks are. So I am curious to see what type of display this actually is here. Because I know for sure it's HD. But I want to see if it's uh, LCD or not. Dual cameras here in the back. 13 megapixel main snapper and a 2 megapixel 
depth sensor, I believe. And on the front, you get a five megapixel camera. So as far as the camera here with this device, first impressions here, well, sorry, kind of first impressions. Uh, as far as video, you get 1080p, 30 frames per second. You get 720p as well. But you also get full HD 60 frames per second, which is a first for me, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, with the front face of the camera, you get a uh, full HD video. That's the max resolution at 30 frames per second. And uh, photos, I haven't taken a photo here yet, so let me go ahead and do a test really quickly. So after <laughs> taking that picture just now, this is what the photo looks like here. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, eh, it doesn't look too good. Um, I didn't tap the focus or anything, so let me try that this time around. All right, eh, it looks a little bit better. But overall, camera is pretty cool. It's decent. Um, not going to go too hard on it just yet because it's just some sample photos right then and there. But uh, yeah, this device only has 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. We have the Snapdragon 632 inside of this device here. And one of the gripes already is that fact that it's micro USB for charging. And it looks like you get a lot of speaker on the back there. Um, favorite thing so far about the device is that it's this blue color and uh, the way it feels in the hand. Um, going to definitely do some extended use here with this device just to get a full grip on how, you know, how it actually performs. Because, you know, first impressions or first few seconds with a device, you get a little um, excited. So I'm going to wait, like, you know, maybe, maybe to the end of the day, maybe a couple hours from now. This all depends on how I feel to uh, really go ahead and do that first impressions video. Because um, a lot of the times when I do my first impressions, it usually be after like a couple days, but I'm going to try to start doing them the day of here. So fingerprint scanner works fine. Um, let me show you guys that really quickly. So it's not the fastest thing, but it works nonetheless. But we're going to go outside and test this camera here and see how it performs outdoors, uh, do some video as well. So Mask Squad, as far as the Motorola E here, let me know in the comment section below what type of videos or content do you want to see with this device? You want to see speed test videos, game videos? Let me know in the comment section below. That'd be very helpful. And if you are new to this channel here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss any coverage when it comes to budget devices like the Moto E from 2020. And Mask Squad, like this video here so that other people just like you can get a little bit more help when it comes to researching budget devices like the Moto E5 here. And then you get to see cool unboxing videos like this one here. It just makes sense. And last but not least, share this video with your friends and family and let them know that not all Android cameras suck. It is just not true. But until then, my name is Max Rock. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day, y'all. Deuces.